guys, welcome. Kat Ray here. So today I will be talking about rats and chickens. Chickens bring rats and mice and other, other little creatures like that. And I had heard that when I first got chickens many, many years ago. And I had set like one or two little rat traps. Didn't really think much about it until there was one day I was sitting on our patio from one side of the field across to the chicken coop. I saw these two huge rats go through the fence and go into the chicken coop. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a rat problem. So after that, I went and looked around our barn in the chicken coop and I was finding rat poop all over the place. I was finding little um, leftovers from the rats. I never really found any dead rats, but after the whole thing, after setting many traps, setting baits, I think we ended up killing about seven rats total. But right now, the things I really do, the first thing I do is I have a cat. I love cats. I always grew up with a cat. They're so great. But they will definitely, I mean, they're not going to kill all the rats and mice, but because they're out there playing in your field, they will definitely keep a lot of them away. So cats is my first thing that I do. And then I have rat traps. So those rat traps that are like the snapping ones, those are a little scary for me because I have the cat. I have chickens that go roam around. And then I also have two little dogs. So if I put them somewhere, they could really hurt one of my creatures. So let me show you these ones that I bought. It's kind of like the rat trap inside of a cave. We'll go out to the barn and I'll show you where I'm gonna place them. Okay guys, come with me. Come on, baby. So this is the rat trap that I have. It is from Cat Sense Pet Solutions. I'll put a link down below so you can purchase these if you'd like to off of Amazon. So basically it's kind of the same idea. It has the little thing you set and it snaps down and kills the little critter, but it's kind of got this little cave to kind of protect your little creatures. So you pull this little thing out, you put the bait in there. I'm gonna put some peanut butter. Hey, we got them both set. Now we just gotta find a place for them. Okay, even though they do have this little protective layer on it, I'm gonna go hide it behind something so it might be a little hard for our cats or dogs to get to it. Okay, let's go over here. So we have this one last one. We're gonna put it over here by these leftover kind of fences. So back there, we'll go hide. Back here, here we go. Hey guys, thanks for watching my rat trap video. I put those out there. I'm sure I'll check them two or three times a week to see if they have little critters, but to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna show you dead animals on my channel. So like I said before, if you have chickens, better have a way to kill those little creatures because they will come. I'm talking about experience. So anyway, Work hard, play hard, we'll see you on the next project.